Sega is an international uh, campaign that Swedish Foreign Ministry started together with Wikimedia and it has been a global event. It has taken place in over 50 places around the world by now. Wikigap is a very practical initiative. It's about increasing the number of articles about women on Wikipedia. And this initiative, we hope to kickstart the movement in Sudan uh, to increase the number of articles about Sudanese prominent women, but also more articles about Sudan and Africa in general. As we are here in Khartoum, in Sudan, we of course wanted to create content about Sudanese women. So we gathered volunteers that are passionate about this, that feel very strongly about women and women empowerment, and we asked them to help us out to create more content about Sudanese women on Wikipedia. Now, the initiative uh, like the Wikigap is very important because um, representation also leads to visibility. You know, when women are present, when their contributions are made visible, what it does is that it recognizes, first of all, the right of women to be present. At the same time, it opens up opportunities. And in addition, it could also create inspiration for other people. In 1995 already, um, Beijing Platform of Action was highlighting the importance of women to be part of the new technology world. So it is a very important project. We hope that it's just the starting today. We will have the occasion to organize many more sessions like it. Uh, in Sudan it's a very specific problem because we have a very strong oral history. Uh, we have a society that's very dependent on storytelling, on, on uh, known facts, but in, in essence if they're not documented they're never really seen as facts anymore at this day and age. So in the internet, when you look up the greatest names in Sudan uh, of women, as well as some men, but of women, uh, you will find that there's a complete absence of their names. And um, it's a big shame and it's very important for documentation for the future generations to understand um, who these people were, what they did, why they're important, and what to learn from them. It's always a delight for us to engage people like this and in places like this to write and represent um, the voices that are currently not covered on Wikipedia. And so it's truly amazing for us, Open Foundation West Africa, to be a part of this process and to support people from Sudan to write about women from the continent. This um, meeting or workshop actually takes two boxes, which is writing about women and uh, writing on Wikipedia about Africa. And so it is never, um, I mean, little efforts from the people who came today, but it's great efforts that would um, generally lead to something in Sudan and most likely would erupt or bring about um, a community that would focus on bringing Sudanese content to light. But well, I'm hoping that this initiative could continue, uh, that more actors can uh, work uh, producing more articles about women in Sudan. And I think the sig significance of having it um, at this time, which is within the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence, is that if you wanted to protect women and girls from violence, knowing very well that they also form a major uh, of the population that are being you know, abused in different ways, the first step is to empower women, to empower women with knowledge, to empower women economically, empower women socially and politically. We had a fantastic group here today, uh, really keen, really energetic, they were young and they were all, all sorts of different backgrounds, but they had in common that they really wanted to help out with this, uh, both for their own country, for women, and I mean, help us out with this project uh, as well. Now, this is generally to Africans. It is our time, and we've been given a voice, and this voice matters only when we use it. So let's use that voice and make a change.